Can't you see how you're dancing? Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ladies, can Look at all this bling. Wow. <laughs> yes. Your partner must be rich. Thanks. He's an investment banker. Oh. Investment banker. Yes. I need to invest in one of those. <laughs> in fact, I need to invest in a man who will stop. Wow. Pam, you sound desperate. Wow, Clarice, I am. <laughs> I mean, I'm 35 years old. My good years are behind me. Where's Cupid? He's supposed to be helping me out, right? Right, Shani? Alright. Sister Pam, you know that when the time is right, God will bring your man to you. You just gotta be patient. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, Shani. That's right. I've been married three times. <laughs> yeah. Here, Here we, we go. go. But sisters, I like telling my story. So young adults won't fall into the same mistake and pray before getting married. Your, Your first, first husband? Oh, I caught him cheating with another woman. <laughs> yeah. Your, Your second, second husband? Uh, I caught him getting close to another man. <laughs> I don't know what this world is turning into, Sherry. I don't know. <laughs> what about your third husband? Oh, he's alright for now. I mean, he's lovely, he's so manly and I cute, you know? What? She's been looking at my man. What? I'm too old to be looking at my man. Why are you keep away from my man? Why are you no, 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 Keep her away from my man. No, I'm too old on the Lord, bro. I'm too old to be looking for another man. Right, exactly. Just keep away from my man. I'm too old for this. Just keep her away from my man. Why are you talking about my man? Why are you watching me? Because I just don't like people. Just keep her away from me. Ladies, in the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, me and Charles knew within a few weeks of dating that we're destined to be together. Okay. Now, nine years later, two children, and we're going stronger every day. How about yeah. you? Yeah. Woo! Well, that's great for you, isn't it? That's just great. Well, me and Pastor Johnson, we've been strong for 18 years now, and I've never looked back. <laughs> Best just be the charm, Esther. Um, mm -hmm. Esther, mm -hmm. what was charming about your first two marriages? Um, did it was a settlement? Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. That is wrong and that is definitely not funny. No, 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 sister. I got what I deserve. For those two time waster men wasting my time. I'm just glad I found Jesus before my third marriage because I don't know what he will be doing by now. <laughs> <laughs> I just praise the Lord. <laughs> sister, I totally agree that you found the Lord before your third marriage. Because Amen. I declare in the name of Jesus Amen. that divorce curse is broken. Amen. 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 Oh, so ladies. Well, I guess the most important thing is that we're all satisfied, right? Yeah. Oh. Who's satisfied? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not satisfied. You know what? I'm going to stop taking advice from you old folks. Oh, uh, not that old. And oh. start taking advice from the younger I'm generation. Old. Like, oh, okay. They're old. All right. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> situation. I was 20 at the time and he was 32. But that didn't matter to me. <laughs> what mattered to me was that he had his life together and he wanted to be a part of mine. So I guess two years later when he asked me to move in with him, it was an offer I couldn't refuse. Oh well, wow. and that's something. Good on you, sister. <laughs>
Trudy. Trudy from down the lane! Guys, you don't understand. Come from the shop with a rough top, picky nappy jumpy head. We invited you me come. for a perp. No, listen, you don't understand. She brought my. Let me tell you what she brought. <laughs> Turn around, put down. Listen, she brought my curling gloves. She brought my straighteners. She brought my waist. She brought my, 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 my arm, arm. You don't. You don't understand the stress. You don't Stop understand, man. <laughs> For a nice fresh cut, which I can do. A perm, weave, or any of that sort, we cannot help you. So, right, you yeah, whatever. So, um, yeah, who are you looking for? I've got a picture of her. This woman named Shelly. Oh, Shelly. We know Shelly. Yeah, we know who she is. So, um, what do you want with her? I'm trying to reconnect with an old friend. Oh, that's sweet. Well, I'm so sorry, I don't know where she is. Please. I heard you could help. Alright then, um, well, if you get a pen and paper, you can give me your number. And I'll no, give it no, to it's alright. Yeah. No, but I'll give it to her. No, no. If you get a pen and paper, then. But she you lives on number 33 Brendan Avenue. Avenue. What? What did you say? 32 Brendan Avenue? No, number 33 Brendan Avenue. Oh, thank you, man. Alright, no problem. <laughs> You don't sort nothing out. Can you sort out the clinical? Nicole, you're here. Your mouth's gonna get you into big trouble. It already has. 